Hello everybody, my name is Roberta Della Peruta and today I'm going to show you the new evaluation board for BMSIC, the TLE 912 DQU and TLE 915 DQU. Infino battery management products enables an optimized solution to monitor and balance battery cells. The TLE 912 DQU is an ACLD compliant monitoring and balancing system IC designed for radio lithium battery packs. Its main functions are accurate voltage measurement, temperature measurement, as a communication to the main battery controller and passing balancing. The TLE 915 DQU acts as communication gateway. It is recommended to use where more TLE 912 DQU are DC chain. Its main function is to translate the UR from the microcontroller to its two isolated UART interface and vice versa. By means of its two UART interfaces, ring mode communication is possible, which allows to lower the system cost while improving the availability. To evaluate the Infino BMSIC offering and understand its capability, an evaluation board are ready for you. In particular, there are dedicated boards for the TLE 912 DQU and TLE 915 DQU. They are both based on a distributed architecture, including cabling and necessary software for Infino Aurix microcontroller. You will receive the BMSIC evaluation board in these boxes. Let's open them together. Here you will find a shop description on the evaluation board and here the QR code that you may need to download the necessary software for your evaluation. Inside you will also find already a cable to make your evaluation board even faster. Now Christian will show how to use them. Hi, I'm Christian. Let's check out the boards firstly. We have the TLE 9015 transceiver board here, which is equipped with the transceiver IC, its surrounding components, two spaces for optional transformers and the communication ports here. For low side communication we use this port, for high side communication we use this port. The uh, TLE 9015 transceiver board is piggybacked on our Aurix evaluation board, like this. and can then be connected with the delivered communication cables to the sensing device. Okay. The sensing board is already equipped with the necessary input filters here and balancing resistors, two communication ports on those sides, and comes with a, a resistor ladder to connect this board directly to a power supply. In our case, we have desoldered the solder jumpers here and here to disable the built-in resistor ladder because we want to use this with the real battery pack. This battery pack can be connected on those jumper cables here and then needs to be connected to the communication cable. The Oryx board can then be plugged into our PC and also to the power supply. Don't forget to press the start button. If the screen LED is lighting, the Oryx is powered up successfully. These products offer the perfect solution for a wide variety of applications like automotive, industrial, energy storage and consumer products like e-bikes. Since everything is connected, we can check out the GUI now. All the necessary steps which are needed to get the software running are described in the Getting Started Guide, which is available on the website. And this is the GUI. If the hardware is connected properly, the software detects automatically the Oryx board. To connect the secondary devices, we simply have to click on Connect Secondaries here. And this check mark indicates that the connection was performed successfully. The TAP TLE 912 can be used to set and check the device's configuration and to trigger a measurement. Today we want to show the cyclic measurement feature. To take a snapshot of the battery every two seconds, we just have to click on Start Cyclic over here. Due to the one ADC per channel concept, we measure all the voltages simultaneously. To see them, we can switch to this tab here 
and now we see a graphical interpretation of the 12 battery cell voltages. And now you are ready to get the best out of your batteries with Infineon Battery Management IC's portfolio and the products TLE 1912 DQU and TLE 1915 DQU. To get more information on the products, evaluation board or software, please visit infineon.com slash bmsic or check the link in the description. Thank <laughs> you.